Research data management, to me, uh, has, has evolved. When I first started with this task, my concern was capturing the data and making sure the data was valid and ensuring that the data was properly curated, by which I mean all the essential information that describes the generation of that data would be captured in a database. And then the management then was all about uh, mapping that data onto the Atlas models and capturing the key information to allow people out there to query that data and to compare that data and to uh, bring it uh, and make it visible. Since then, I've realized that that data holds information which has a much longer term value. Uh, and so research data management for me now is about how I ensure that that data can be held for posterity, how it can be held over the long term. Because I know from my own uh, experience that any given database that's been developed as part of a research project will eventually cease to exist. Uh, and we needed to find a way of managing data that would, ha would remain over the long term. DataShare indeed does deliver for me the one part that was missing in the databases that we could develop. When I was uh, realizing that my project would be ending in four or five years into the future, I was casting around for a way of maintaining that data permanently. Uh, and at that time, I came across the group in the university uh, who were b building and developing the concepts of data share. And what I particularly liked was that the uh, policy for data preservation was to keep data indefinitely. Uh, and that policy, of course, is exactly what was needed for my data and exactly what I could not deliver for myself. So I started collaborating with the group, and they mentioned to me that they could create data DOIs to associate with the data, and that they could then host the data, and it would be managed by the university, in particular in the context of the university library, which would then ensure that the data was preserved and made accessible into the future. So that's how I became aware of data share. And over the last few years, I have been uh, pushing my data into data share for that purpose. My experience in using the research data services was excellent. I uh, have a lot of data, uh, and there are many uh, entries needed to be pushed into data share. And doing them one at a time, if you've got a small amount of data, can work. But if you've got thousands of entries, then that can be extremely tedious. But our data was all curated and in a database. And so I was able to dump out the data in a form that would fit the, an ingest technique, a batch technique that research data services could use. And so I was helped, or rather indeed handheld, in, in building those data sets. Uh, and then it was simply a case of copying the data over to some appropriate shared location, and then the rest was done by research data services. And this help extended to developing the web pages that go with data share, because within each collection you have sub-collections and, and communities, and those are important to set up so when people are looking for data, they can find the similar data in, without having to search too hard. And so I was given a lot of support for setting those up as well. So overall, it was really quite a painless process once I'd got in place the appropriate scripts for dumping things from my database. To a, another PI, I would say they should start talking uh, as soon as they collect any data in order to ensure that they are collecting and collating the information they need that will then subsequently be submitted because the University of Edinburgh has managed to set up a system which is very good and meets the purpose for long-term data archiving, uh, and it cannot be done too soon. In terms of research data services and, and data share provided by the University of Edinburgh, I've also collaborated with many other institutions, uh, and both within the UK and without. Uh, and for most people who have grants for collecting data, it is incumbent on them to actually provide a mechanism to make sure their data is available in the long term within an archive. And 
Many universities do not have that option. I think the University of Edinburgh has led the way here to develop something that, that meets the short-term and actually the long-term needs for a lot of research data.